This is the Madison train station. It was built in 1895. As you can see, it's quite an interesting building. I love the stained glass windows at the top. The room shows some pictures of the train station over time, as well as some of the lamps that were used here locally. This is the telegraph office. Can you imagine people outside bustling and standing in line in the heat in those thick dresses and all? I certainly wouldn't want to do it. And over here is the telegraph machine. This room in the museum shows the railroad stuff. All the pictures from the old railroad coming to Madison and some of the tools are on display. It smells quite a lot like metal in here, even a hundred years later. This particular display talks about a lack of an engine and moving railroad cars. This is interesting. I didn't know what a snakehead was. Apparently the rails on tracks would come up while trains were going over them and trains would have to nail the tracks down before they went over them. When it curled up like that it was called a snakehead and it used to puncture the cars and cause injuries. Who would have thunk it? This is a display of old information an old railroad guy collected over his years working for the railroad. It has all kinds of interesting papers and money and things. Here's a scale model of the Madison Railroad. Look at that hill over there on the side. I've always loved miniature railroads. They're so cute and realistic. The slope on the left hand side was the steepest non-cog railroad in the US. They have carved that through solid rock. Can you imagine? I certainly can't. Oh hey, it's a shoeshine booth. You ever seen those at the railroad? Or at the airport? I certainly have. Looks just like they do now, just a little bit older. Lastly, as we leave, let's look at the pretty old door. It's like stepping back in time. Indeed, this whole museum is that way.